our inspirational true story series. I'm quite excited about that. I can you tell. tell. Yeah. Our inspirational true story series at just 21. Our inspirational stories guests set up what would become one of the fastest growing marketing agencies in the country, working with top brands like Porsche and Heineken at some of New Zealand's biggest events like the Rugby World Cup. It was a corporate lifestyle of high stress and fast turnarounds. He's now just been named 2017 Kiwi Bank local hero for his work in 2017 already. Is that 2017, 2016? I, I, I'm N. Like Anne, not not A, not, not the. He's not the, he's one of them. Uh, inspiring thousands of people to get outdoors and get active. So you might say his story has taken quite a turn. Let's welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Robert Bruce. Yeah! yeah. Robert, fantastic to have you here. Firstly, what, what inspired you to create this Got To Get Out? Well, I mean, as, as you were saying, I, I had this crazy company for about, um, about 10 years. I started it when I was 21. Yeah. And that lifestyle was just... It was crazy. Champagne, you know, schmoozing, that sort of stuff. All of that stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I guess anyone who's worked in an advertising agency or any kind of marketing agency, it's go, go, go. And you know, by the time I was in my late 20s, I was burnt out, yeah. you know, and felt awful. And I think what was missing is that I wasn't getting outdoors anymore. Right. But wouldn't you think that that lifestyle you were leading was high-flying and fun? A lot of people would, for them, would be their dream. So, you know, what was it you didn't like about it, apart from the not getting out? Were there other aspects of it? You know, it's, it's interesting, like, what, what is fun, you know? And I think when you're in your 20s, fun could be the champagne lifestyle, but I, I think what is more fulfilling and more special is, is getting outdoors into nature. And it was as I was trekking through the Himalayas. So I should say that this company, I sold the company, and the company that bought it made me redundant. <laughs> That's an awkward conversation. Yeah, okay. right. So yeah. I was redundant from my own company. And uh, it was around that time I went hiking through the Himalayas. And I just felt so compelled, so um, motivated to try and get other people outdoors as well. So tell me exactly what it is. What has got to get out? Right. So, I mean, it's a community of outdoor lovers that I've, I guess I've set up. It started with a Facebook page. And uh, now I think more than 500 people have been hiking with me in the wow. last two years. Wow. And I did some maths. Um, I wouldn't say maths is like traditionally my thing, um, but I did some maths for this, this interview. And uh, we've burnt about 1.4 million calories from those people. That is incredible. We're getting some great photos on screen here. So you hike all around Auckland at this stage. Uh, are the hikes, I mean, do they cost money or how does it work? Are they all free or? Yeah, I mean, my mission is just to lower the barrier of getting people outdoors. So those, those 400 or 500 people who have been hiking, for the vast majority, they don't pay. Social um, enterprise. And are they experienced hikers or are they newbies? You know, my mission is to get people um, into the outdoors. A lot of people say things like, um, I just stopped going outdoors, or I had a kid and I stopped going outdoors. Mm. So for a lot of people, this is an easy way to get out, get out into nature. And you've taken some people over to Nepal. Yeah. What was that experience like? You know, Nepal, for me, is like a rite of passage for Kiwis, and I think it's, it's just you've got to go there. Um, Sir Edmund Hillary is probably my biggest inspiration. Nice. So... I took eight people up there. We went all the way to Mount Everest Base Camp, which was about 100, 110 kilometres. Gosh. Negative 15 degrees. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Challenging. Wow, We've actually got a video. Actually got a video. Oh, so have you got the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take you guys a are look. The, you're the first people to oh, see we? this. Oh, nice. <laughs> Exclusive. Take a look. Wow. My name is Jutaraya. I was born in the Himalaya. Got to get out. It's uh, one of the best group. They are the super mind-blowing, strong people. I've absolutely Thank loved you. my time here in Nepal. I have really enjoyed um, spending time with this group. I came onto the trip um, having never met anyone before in my life. And we've had like amazing conversations, meeting amazing people and forming the relationships over the period of 10, 12, 14 days. I love it. They are awesome. Oh, wow, that looks so fun. awesome. I want to do it. Yes, yeah. I'm going to recognise a couple of faces from the audience as well there. Yeah. So you're going back to Nepal. Yeah, we're going to go do the Annapurna circuit later this year, um, departing around the 28th of December. So, I mean, it's just a, a rite of passage. You've, you've got to yeah. go to Nepal. It's amazing. And what do you like, finally, f that people get out of this? Because obviously it's an experience, but is there something else you think they get out of this? You know, the, when people go into nature, you know, their whole world changes. Uh, the Mental Health Foundation talks about the pillars of mental health, and one of them is, is being active and getting outdoors and so for me seeing that transformation is awesome. Ex absolutely that looks incredible thank you so much Robert. Yeah thank you well done too. What an inspiration and if you feel like you need to get out make sure that you check out Robert's Facebook page all the details are there.